Hey there folks, believe it or not, I am back with a brand new battle. This is the third in my occasional Rate My Team series, where I find someone's RMT on Smogon, I make that team in Pokemon Showdown, use it for a while on Showdown until I get the hang of the team, and then I have a Wi-Fi battle using that team and write up an analysis. Usually I lead off with the analysis, but today I'm trying something different, I'm going to lead off with the battle. Um, the team is Drakey's Celebi and the Two Dragons. Uh, I found it to be a really interesting team and a lot different than my Dual Weather Ed team, which has been up on this channel before. Uh, looking at his team, I see that Smeargle get there, and I see that Shedinja, and I think he's going to do something weird with those two Pokemon, and I'm thinking I should be on my toes. I figured he was probably going to lead off with his Smeargle, so I go ahead and um, put... I went ahead and put um, hit him on top in the lead slot, and I figured no need to lead off with my rain inducer. That's uh, we're both running rain teams, so no need to lead off with my Politoed because I figured he'd lead off with his Politoed. So um, turns out that this matchup is really, really great for me because I can just fake out that Smeargle first turn, preventing it from sporing or whatever it's going to do. I know it's going to do something weird once I see that he's paired it off on the lead slot with Shedinja. Um, Shedinja goes for Swords Dance. Uh, thinking that I, nothing I can do, I can't do anything against it, even though I actually do have um, Stone Edge on my Hitmontop. Instead, I go for the Toxic uh, on um, his Shedinja, and, you know, some Shedinjas do carry Lumberry, but I figured that in doubles, more often than not, they're probably going to run Focus Sash, so my bet pays off, and I take out that Shedinja in one uh, on the first turn, and don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm not sure what he was planning on doing with that Soak, whether that was a misclick or what, or maybe he just didn't realized that I had Storm Drain, but Storm Drain absorbs all water attacks and um, Soak is no exception, so that is pretty awesome. Um, now here he goes for, he has his uh, Politoed go for a Hidden Power, I'm thinking, oh god, it's Hidden Power Grass. Uh, Gastrodon survives on 50 HP, thank god, and it is going to manage to get off a plus one, thanks to Storm Drain boosted uh, muddy water. It does miss Politoed, but Politoed resisted it anyway, so it's not like it's that big of a deal. I take out his Smeargle. Um, I was actually surprised that it wasn't running a more creative set. like Or not even a more creative set, a more effective set like Spore. I mean, Spore is pretty much on all Smeargles, as far as I've seen. Now, I'm not sure what was going on here. I think this might have been a misclick, and I think he might have had the hidden power... Um, I think he might have had the hidden power error and had meant to go for Hitmontop. Not exactly sure what happened there with the Zapdos. Sorry, hidden power. Yeah, no, hidden power. Um, flying, I mean. Okay, so I go for the Stone Edge here. My first Stone Edge missed. This one connects. And I didn't think it would take out Zapdos because Zapdos was fairly bulky. Um, but it does do a fair good chunk, so I'm pretty happy with those results. Uh, so based on the level of HP that those two Pokemon are at, I'm going to go ahead and send out Kingdra, whose speed is going to be through the roof, thanks to uh, the fact that it has... Um, Swift Swim, just going to go for the Muddy Water, and I know that's not going to take out Politoed, but I'm just going to go ahead and have Hitmontop use Close Combat this turn, as you're about to see. Anyway, he decided to switch out, so I do manage to take out Zapdos on uh, that turn, and that's excellent. Now, this is kind of a waste of Hitmontop's fl uh, Fighting Gem, because Whimsicott is fairly frail, but I am glad that I'm able to take out that uh, Whimsicott without any muss or fuss. So, I have now taken down four of his Pokemon, and things are going pretty well for me. Uh, this is shaping up pretty nicely, even though I have lost one Pokemon already. So he goes out and sends out his last two Pokemon, which are Politoed and Terrakion. Uh, Terrakion might be a... Th well, actually, Terrakion really is not a threat to this team, because I have hit Montop, um... And, you know, with the rain, my Kingdra is going to be able to outspeed and get off a super effective Muddy Water, which will manage to take out Terrakion, no problem. I decided I was going to just, uh, switch back Hitmontop in case something weird happened with that Terrakion, um, and it, had, it survived and managed to KO my Kingdra because um, my, uh, my Hitmontop is really my best hard counter for that Terrakion right now, because if it carries the Megahorn, then Celebi's not going to work. Um, so anyway, I have uh, Politoed go for Helping Hand, we're down to, he's down to his last Pokemon, and I'm just going to use Dragon Pulse against this thing until it dies. Uh, he, yeah, his last Pokemon's Politoed, and I think it might be a spec set, not 100% positive. Those Hydro Pumps are hitting awfully hard, but uh, he's not going to manage to take out Politoed, my Politoed, my Politoed survives on 27, 
and next turn I'm going to manage to take it out. I don't even think I'll need a helping hand uh, this next turn. So uh, my opponent, by the way, um, was Galadion2, who I met through Smog on. I highly recommend that you check out his channel. And uh, he was a really good sport. It took me forever to find someone to have a Smog on doubles battle with. And I'm really glad that he accepted my challenge. So anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed that battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. And stay tuned for the analysis of this team. And now we turn to the analysis portion of the program. So this is the team. This is all six Pokemon. We've got Selby and the titular two dragons. Then we have Politoed, the obvious rain setter upper, and Hitmontop for just being Hitmontop, and Gastrodon, which is really the heart and soul of this team. As designed, I think Drakey was really intending for this to be... Um, uh, Stolly team more than anything else, but I've actually found that it does really well offensively, and I've been playing this thing rather offensively, and I've had pretty gar darn good results. So well, now let's get right down to it. We start with Politoed, the obvious member of this team, uh, drizzles the ability, zero speed uh, IVs for maximum slowness and best chance to have your weather be the weather that is up the first turn. Uh, Scald is the primary attacking move, but actually I found it, find it's better in a supporting role as I'll get to, a, as I'll get to in a bit. Uh, protect, you know, is great to have in doubles. Icy Wind slows down fast Pokemon, and that really helps with, uh, Hydreigon, because Hydreigon doesn't have the best speed, and so if you're against one of the many Pokemon that it's faster against, just get off an Icy Wind first, and Hydreigon will suddenly be faster than it, and it will be able to wreck or wreak havoc to it. But I'll get to that when I get to Hydreigon. Um, helping Hand, great for boosting your uh, sweepers, or even your non-sweepers. Uh, it's just a really great supporting move to have in doubles, and uh, this team uses Helping Hand a lot. Again... So we're still in the supporting uh, part of this team. We've got Celebi. The idea of this team, if I recall correctly, was that Drakey wanted to give some love to Celebi, which really seems to get overshadowed a lot for Cresselia. So the main advantage that Celebi has over Cresselia, besides Natural Cure, is that it has Stab Grass, so uh, Leaf Storm. So the idea is that grass is not a type you see very often in smog on doubles, and there are quite a few Pokemon that are pretty common that are weak to grass. So by having Leaf Storm on this set, you can deal some surprising KOs and really turn the tides in a lot of battles. Um, I will say that you don't want Celebi to be the last Pokemon on your team, because this Pokemon really does best in a supporting role, namely firing off Thunder Waves to get his, your opponent's entire team slow so that your uh, faster Pokemon can just sweep through. Uh, Helping Hand is also on the set for the same reason it was on Politoed, and Protect is also for the same reason it was on Politoed. Protect is really crucial on this Celebi, because there are a lot of bug-type moves around, specifically U-Turn, and you really need Protect to, uh, to prevent Celebi from getting one-hit KO'd by U-Turn, which is pretty much the only thing that'll one-hit KO this set. And it's got to be a pretty strong U-Turn at that. Now we turn to my favorite Pokemon on this team, Gastrodon. So now Gastrodon was designed to be a Stolly roll, uh, to be in a Stolly roll, as you can see from the fact that it has Toxic Recover and Stockpile. The idea is get off some Stockpiles and nothing can touch this Gastrodon. I actually have found that it does really well in a sweeping roll thanks to Storm Drain. So the idea is you lead off with, uh, with Politoed and Gastrodon, and rather than going for the uh, rather than going for something like um, Helping Hand, you go for Scald, and Gastrodon will absorb that through Storm Drain, will get its attack up by 50%, the same as it would get through Helping Hand, and its Muddy Waters will do a lot of damage boosted by Rain. So, And Gastrodon's bulk is such that it can really take a whole bunch of hits, and people don't really expect Gastrodon to be doing about that much damage, so people usually leave it alone. So, and because of that, I found that Gastrodon can really wreck a lot of teams that aren't prepared for it. Gastrodon is also great because it's rather slow, and uh, Trick Room seems to be everywhere in Smog on Doubles, so you send out Gastrodon when the Trick Room is up, and the idea is that at the very least, nothing Gastrodon will prevent your opponent from gaining momentum and gaining a lot of damage until the Trick Room goes down. Again, I've just really found that this Pokemon is the heart and soul of this team and does an extremely, extremely great job, not as a supporter, not as a staller, but as a full-blown attacker. 
Moving on, we have Kingdra, the first Pokemon designed to be a sweeper on this team, and it is a highly effective sweeper at that. Swift Swim is the ability, meaning that as long as Trick Room is not up, this thing is probably going first, barring priority. Kingdra is incredibly fast with Swift Swim, and uh, boosted by the rain, Muddy Water is nothing to sneer at. Uh, Dragon Pulse is on there instead of Draco Meteor because this guy is supposed to be in there for the long haul. You don't want it hit, uh, firing off a Draco Meteor and then having to switch out. So you go with the Dragon Pulses instead for consistent damage. Uh, Substitute is part of that role as well. The idea is that Kingdra is so fast that if you have a slower Pokemon like Hydreigon against it, uh, you're going to set up your sub while Hydreigon goes for the Draco Meteor, and all that's going to happen is that the sub is going to break. Protect is also on this set. I haven't found myself using Protect very often with Kingdra, simply because you want this thing attacking more often than not. And here's where Helping Hand really comes in handy, because it'll boost Muddy Water's damage, and boosted by the rain again, that's going to do a lot. Uh, also, Dragon Pulse Helping Hand is going to help you too, there too. Hitmontop, this is pretty much the standard Hitmontop in doubles right now. Uh, leading off with it is great because you can just go for the fake out. It's got a fighting gem which boosts close combat's damage quite a bit. Stone Edge hits flying types. Finally, you have Wide Guard, which I've never actually had the opportunity to use. I've just, you know, it's not too many players seem to be running full field attacks that wide guard would protect against and they're definitely not running it with him on tops around because this is such a standard set that people know it's coming um but presumably you know your mileage may vary the last pokemon on this team is probably my favorite hydreigon oh my god this thing hits so freaking hard really the set is draco meteor filler 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 uh, steel types are around, and that's what the Earth Power is for. And Dark Pulse is great if you don't want to use up that Dragon Gem. But man, it is just so great. You see, you know, your opponent has a really bulky Pokemon out. You think they think uh, nothing, nothing in the world is going to touch my Pokemon. You send out Hydreigon. It gets off this Draco Meteor. Annihilation, incredible annihilation. I love Hydreigon on this set. Really helped out by uh, by the helping hands that are everywhere. Also really helped out, helped out by uh, Icy Wind and Thunder Wave because Hydreigon's speed, even with a timid nature, isn't very high, and there are plenty of Pokemon around to outspeed it. So really, you want to get your opponent's Pokemon slow before you send Hydreigon on the field. You want to make sure that this thing goes first, even though it actually does have a, a decent amount of natural bulk and can take quite a few hits. Really, the idea is that it's got a lot of resistances and immunities. So that one, that's what makes Hydreigon a fairly durable Pokemon. So usually I end these analyses with an overview based on the stalliness and bias to a lesser extent of these teams, but the stalliness metric was really mainly designed for singles teams and isn't really applicable to non-singles teams in terms of trying to determine what's stally, what's not stally, what's offensive, uh, or even predicting like how many turns per KO. That's definitely not going to work in doubles. Uh, but so, still, it it's a very rough metric, and when you're just comparing two teams and trying to figure out which one's stallier, yeah, you can use it. So, comparing this to my other Smog on Doubles team, this one is definitely stallier by a considerable factor, and um, beyond that, I don't really have too much to say. I mean, it really was designed to be a stallier team, but I found it works quite well offensively. So, anyway... Uh, Drakey, if you're watching this, thank you so much for letting me borrow your team. It was really incredible to use. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, and that is all for today.